In this video in the Getting Started series, let's take a look at how we can use Valexo to build a report with easy to adjust parameters. In this worksheet, we have already added the chart of accounts and used a single account name function with an array reference to all the accounts. For this example, we want to also view the account ending balances, but we want to be able to filter the data for different ledgers and by financial period. To start, we are going to use the actual ledger and the final period for the financial year. When we add the financial period in the cell, we want to ensure that it is in the format that is expected by the ERP, specifically two digits for the period, a dash, and four digits for the financial year. To keep Excel from converting this to a date, we either need to format the cell as text or simply prefix the value with a single quotation or tick mark. Since we have done that here, we can now type the full financial period and press enter. Now we can add the account ending balance function that we learned about in the previous video. Let's use the function wizard. After we click on the cell, we can click here, ensure that we are in the Valexo NX category, and select the function we want. After typing in the connection, we can input C1 for the ledger, A6 for the account, being sure to add the number sign after the address so that we are referencing the entire array returned by the function in that cell. We'll be sure to lock down the column in that reference, and we'll enter C3 for the period. We are skipping some of the function parameters, such as branch. When we leave a parameter blank, it simply tells the system that we want to include every possible value for that parameter. We can now click OK, and we now have the ending balance from the actual ledger for each account as of the specified financial period. The parameters allow us to quickly update our worksheet. For example, we can change the financial period, and we see the data update. While we can obviously hand enter the name of the ledger we want to view, we may want to create a drop down selection box with the ledger selections to enable a quicker change. Excel's data validation feature can help with this. We'll just click on the cell, select the data ribbon, and then click Data Validation. Once the dialog opens, we'll create a list and then type in our ledgers separated by commas in the source field. After we click OK, we can use that cell as a drop down menu and select our desired ledger. If we select Budget, we will see the numbers update. And then we can easily switch back to Actual. If we want to be able to compare our actual and budget ledgers at the same time, we can put them side by side. We'll select the ledger, financial period, and balance functions and copy them to the next column. Now let's select our budget ledger for the second column. We now see all the actual and budget data for our chart of accounts. If we do not want to include the accounts with a zero budget balance, we can clean up our worksheet by highlighting all the budget values and then selecting the Auto Hide feature under the Hide Zero Rows. The worksheet will quickly update and those rows with a zero budget balance are now hidden. If we want to temporarily bring them back, we can simply choose to Unhide All. We can also use this column to display a different period from the same ledger by simply adjusting the parameters at the top of the column. We all know that the data in our ERP is constantly being updated. By clicking the Refresh button, we can update this worksheet with any new data that has been introduced since our last refresh. If we have multiple worksheets in our file, we have the option to refresh all of them, or we can update all workbooks that are currently open. The refresh is very fast for this report and would only take slightly longer if we had a larger report with multiple ledgers or financial years. Valixo keeps track of the previous data it has retrieved from our ERP. Using this cache is more efficient than repeatedly retrieving balances that have already been downloaded. If desired, we can clear any data that has been previously cached. This option is useful if we make a major configuration change in our system, such as changing account code lengths, the sub-account structure, or permissions. Clearing the cache is also convenient if any corrections or changes to our general ledger have been made within the ERP, or if we simply want to ensure that all fresh data is retrieved. It can be helpful 
to have the data refreshed each time we open the workbook. Since Excel does not typically do this, we can configure Velixo to do this for us. We'll click on Options in the Velixo ribbon, and then check the option for Refresh the data when opening the file. After choosing this setting, a workbook refresh will be performed whenever the workbook is opened. That completes this lesson on adding basic parameters to our Velixo reports. We hope you found this useful and look forward to seeing you in more videos from us. Thank you for watching.